unprecedented crowds expressing widespread support for Palestinians in Gaza. From New York and Washington, D.C. and across the United States, more than a million Americans have been taking part in protests, marches, and vigils since October the 7th. This protest in the capital marks the largest pro-Palestinian mobilization in U.S. history, with many calling on the government to stop its military support for Israel. Enough is enough. It can't go on. And we need the White House, we need Biden to listen, because you can hear it out here. In London, a pro-Palestinian march stretched across several streets. And from Paris to Berlin, people from different races and religions denounced the massacres committed in the Gaza Strip. I think uh, when you see the diversity of the people here, they don't have to be Arab, they don't have to be Muslim. The, uh, me personally, I'm not Muslim, I'm Christian, Palestinian. I think the message is like, the, the general sentiment and the, of, of the population is that like something has to be done. In the Philippines and other countries across Asia, calls to free Palestine resonated among thousands of demonstrators. And despite the distance for many in Latin America, the Palestinian cause feels close to home. This cannot be called a war. It's a genocide, and that's why the protests will continue. We charge you with genocide! The scars of apartheid in South Africa have led both the government and protesters to condemn inequality among Israel's minorities, while also pointing to injustices faced by Palestinians in occupied territories. We marched against apartheid in South Africa, and there's no reason why we will not stand up for apartheid again. For generations, communities across the Middle East have called for an end to the occupation and the forced displacement of Palestinians. In Yemen and the wider region, those cries are growing louder. Our first and main cause is to support Palestinians, and we will not give up. And while in Gaza, civilians say they feel their plight is ignored, millions of people around the world want to make sure they know their cries are being heard. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.